Hi, my name is Steve. I'm here with Micron to talk to you a little bit more about our C300 real SSD and show some of the differences it can have if it's installed in a laptop. What we have set up here are uh, two identical MacBook Pros. This is a 13-inch unibody uh, from about fall 2009. Um, identical systems except for the drive installed in it. This one on your left has the uh, original 250, 250 gig uh, hard drive. We've cloned that onto a C300 real SSD and installed that in this system, 256 gigabyte SSD. And we're gonna show you some of the differences in performance um, on two identical systems. We'll start with a boot up. Um, as these come up, obviously we're here today to talk about performance, um, but if you're new to SSDs, there's a lot of other advantages to replacing a hard drive that you might not be aware of. Uh, and they all fit really well with mobile systems. First one is power use. Uh, SSDs don't have any moving parts and they tend to use a lot less power than a hard drive. And you'll notice in the boot up here, the SSD just came up, hard drive's still working. Other advantages are reliability and durability. And a lot of that has to do with the way they're manufactured. And you'll notice the hard drive system finally came up. And uh, what we have here is uh, the inside of a 256 gigabyte SSD, C300 SSD, just like is installed in this system. You'll notice there's a controller, and then just NAND flash chips. And this is where all the data is stored. And this is why they are really um, not susceptible to shock vibration movement the way a hard drive is. A uh, hard drive has moving platters, heads, things in very tight tolerances um, that don't like to be shaken around, the danger that they could crash into each other or you get a hard drive failure. And it's really something that makes a big difference on mobile systems like these, which are always being picked up and moved, thrown into bags, carried around. Um, what we're gonna show you today are just some really simple applications. Uh, first one here, I'm gonna select a couple Word files on the desktop and we're gonna open those up in Word. I'm gonna start now and you'll notice the SSD just gets to that splash screen instantly and is already loading up the two documents. Hard drive looks like I forgot to start it but I didn't. Splash screen just now came up and it's working to load everything and it'll get the documents loaded here in a minute and with all these tests that's what you're really going to notice is just an instant snap and in how quickly things load and display. I'm going to hide these, uh, get them out of the way. Um, but it's kind of the performance difference with an SSD. Things just respond very, very quickly. Um, the second test, we have a JPEG, a set of JPEGs in a folder here. It's about 100 uh, megabytes of content. I'm going to open these up, select all the files on both machines. We're going to open them in Adobe Photoshop. And again, you'll notice SSD responds instantly, already starts opening images one, two, three through the list. Well, hard drive is still trying to load the application and uh, is finally starting to, just starting to open some of the folders here um, while the, all of these images on the SSD drive are already open. And again, it's a performance difference. You're gonna notice any application, anything that's loading from the disk, any disk intensive task, um, you're gonna see this. We're gonna quit out of these, and get them out of the way. Um, next test is very basic down this folder at the bottom happens to be video files but it's basically a gigabyte of content um, could be any kind of data we're just going to do a basic duplication of the file um, we're going to start that right now as these copy you're going to notice the SSD taskbar goes much much faster through three quarters of the way almost done and the hard drive is not even a halfway yet a lot of the reasons um, my, at Micron we feel we have a, a clear advantage in the SSD space is because we're NAND designers. And uh, it's something we think you're going to see more clearly in uh, the years ahead as SSDs get faster and more difficult to design. Um, you'll notice this is all Micron NAND on here, and it happens to use uh, an interface specification called ONFI, which is a high-speed spec that makes it handles the output coming out of the chips. Um, our engineers sit on the ONFI board and help determine that specification and have a lot of insight into how NAND is best going to work, and we think that has a huge advantage and how our SSDs are designed, how we build the firmware, um, just goes to overall performance and it's gonna have an even bigger advantage as the years go by. Um, the last thing I wanna show you here is just uh, not necessarily a real world thing at all, but uh, in this folder are uh, 
aliases to the basically the rest of the applications I haven't launched on the machine. Uh, 27 different items. And we're just going to select these all and launch them all at once. Um, not something you do real world, but again, a, just a fun indicator of how much faster an SSD is. And we'll start them now. And you'll notice the dock is just bouncing with applications as the SSD starts ripping open all these programs. And uh, hard drive is still working to resolve the aliases. Um, and it's going to take a while to get through all of these. Um, and again, the, you know, what we showed you here was not meant to be a performance test. This is just, say, you took your system at home, put a C300 real SSD in, what kind of difference are you going to see? And um, because we didn't optimize this at all. This is a standard working system, had about 140 gigs of data on it. Um, we just cloned the drive and put it in. What we would love to see is hear from you some applications you're doing that are really disk intensive that would make a difference, not just the everyday stuff, but uh, things, workflows, like say if you're a video editor and you've got a couple of hard drives in a RAID or a code compiler, anything that's a really hard drive write intensive task. Um, reply to this uh, video in the comments, or better yet, send us a video update. Let us know what your system is, uh, what programs you're running, what your workflow is, and if we get enough interest, we'll set up a demo and show you the kind of difference that a C300 could make in your system, in your workflow, and day to day. Um, it's really impressive. I mean, these were just small examples, but the performance difference is really impressive. And uh, I think you'll find once you are able to go to an SSD, it's, it, there's really no looking back. You don't want to go back to a hard drive ever again. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you have any comments or questions, please post them to microblogs.com.